Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So we're back where it all started. We are here in my home office where I first started making these YouTube videos like seven and a half years ago, which is just crazy. Uh, it's also the first time I've had a home office in a couple of years. Since late 2019, I've been commuting downtown to an office space. So uh, having an office at home has been amazing basically for the last month. Uh, today, I just wanted to kind of show you guys where I've been spending my time, uh, what it looks like most days and just how it works for me. The absolute first thing I did when I moved in here was give everything a fresh coat of white paint, and that includes the trim and everything. Uh, Molly referred to it as the landlord special, but I wanted to make sure everything in this room was just clean and bright and white. Coming in here in the mornings with the sun coming up, it's just glowing. Everything in here is so bright and warm feeling. Uh, it's just, it's the best place to start my morning. I've tried a lot of different styles and paint colors and layout ideas and stuff like that with different offices over the years, even just in this house alone. Uh, but with all the windows in here, I just wanted a bright, white, clean space to work in. And it's just, it's great. There's also no door to this room. Uh, our dining room is completely open to it right here. There is a kitchen window right here. And also this is the only way to get to the backyard, which is where we spend a lot of time. So uh, there's no way for me to like go into my office and shut the door and focus and work and be super serious and that sort of thing. Um, I love it the way that it is. I love that the kids are in here with me, even at times when I am working. Um, Elliot sits here at my desk with me. Um, I like that I can see them while they're out there playing. Um, it's not your typical office setup kind of thing, but it works really well for me and I love it. So I'm excited to share it with you. First of all, the desk. This is the Foley Jarvis desk. I actually have my tripod and microphone just sitting on top of it right now. This is the Foley Jarvis desk. Uh, this, the side table and the chair, as well as a few other small accessories. All of this stuff was provided by Foley like two years ago. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Foley, but there was a video on the channel like two years ago all about that. So if you wanna check it out, you can. Uh, Two years later, it's all still great, I <laughs> still love it. Uh, the only thing I've changed is I've added wheels to the Jarvis desk as well as this side table behind me and it's great. Uh, being able to just put my desk and this side table on wheels and move things around whenever I feel like it, it's just, it's great. And also with all the light coming in here during the day, I don't have curtains or blinds or anything on these windows. I want all of the light at all times. Uh, at any time throughout the day, you know, sometimes I'll get some sunlight kind of coming across this wall right here where my computer is and I can just simply, you know, move the desk around, move the side table around as I need to. Uh, anytime there's any glares or if I just feel like changing it up a little bit. Uh, really, I guess all I'm getting at is just everything should be on wheels. Wheels make everything better. Now, I love the desk, uh, obviously sit and stand and all of that. It's great. Uh, this side table, also from Foley, um, I use this thing. It's just a great utility table. I use it for stacks of photo books that I'm currently going through. Uh, sometimes I'll film some B-roll kind of top down over top of it. Um, it's also great for me and Elliot to play with and we'll build Lego on there or, uh, you know, it's just, it's great having a table on wheels. I can use it for a million different things in this room uh yeah it's just simple it's great and also the chair from Foley, it's the Capisco chair. The only thing I've done different is just throw a blanket over it because uh, it's just nice and cozy that way. Other things on the desk, it's really pretty simple. I like to keep it pretty minimal and pretty clean um, because I don't really need a whole lot. I have the M1 iMac, which I just recently jumped to. If you wanna see a video about the M1 iMac, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to talk about why I switched to this coming from 
a 2019 MacBook Pro. Short and sweet answer, it's great and I love it. Um, other than that, on the desk, I don't need a whole lot, so there really isn't a whole lot up here. I've got a lamp and a candle to make it nice and cozy in here. Uh, I'll put links for the lamp down below because I'm sure I'll get questions about it, as well as links for this anchor charger. If you use anything with MagSafe and you have AirPods, this thing is great. One of my favorite chargers, uh, favorite chargers, like I have a list of favorite chargers. It's, it's good, just know it's good. And most importantly, some pen and paper. Um, I use my iPad Pro for a million different things and I even use it for note taking with apps like Notability or typing out on Bear. Uh, but for just quick daily tasks, for getting ideas out onto paper, nothing helps better than just pen and paper. So as much as I love the iPad Pro, I can never get away from pen and paper. The desk itself is all just super simple. I love being at my desk, which is exactly what I was going for with keeping it all just simple and cozy. My bookshelf, this is a bookshelf from Article. I get a lot of questions about this bookshelf all the time and it's great. I really try to buy as much of my furniture as I can from Article. Again, not sponsored, I just really like what they make. Uh, the thing is with this bookshelf, as much as I love it, as well built as it is and just as great as it looks, uh, because of the design where all of the shelves get more and more shallow in depth the further you go up, I kind of have to organize my books based on size of the book itself. You can't really organize the books alphabetically, so you can try to group some photographers together, but even then you can't always do that because some of the publications from the same photographer are wildly different in size and format. So uh, I'll put a link down below, but for most photographers, it would probably drive them crazy, but I tend to just enjoy the chaos of uh, just the scattered books all over the shelf. This Husky workstation is great because it stores all of my cameras and lenses and hard drives and cables and just all of the odds and ends that I've accumulated being a photographer over the years. But it also is great to have, you know, a place to do all of my scanning with my negative supply equipment, um, basically digitizing and archiving all of my film. So I do all of that right over there. Um, I have access to all of my negatives right next to it, but it's also just a great workspace to you know, use all of the different tools. Uh, I keep everything in a specific drawer in the tool chest itself, so anytime I'm scanning film, all of my tools are right where I need them. Uh, I'm gonna do an entire video on that process from start to finish. Everything from scanning the film to actually inverting in Lightroom, uh, storing the negatives, storing the digital files, all of that stuff. I'm gonna do a video soon. Um, but in the meantime, just know that is where I do it and it's great. Also, I should just mention just for the sake of, I guess just transparency, uh, the drawers in this tool chest are specifically for storage and not organization because I know that there are a lot of people on YouTube who can do these home office reveals and everything is neatly placed where it needs to be and it's all very zen and organized. That's not me. Uh, I am a dad of two, soon to be three in May, uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, my life is very chaotic a lot of the time and sometimes my drawers with equipment and cables and all of that, it also reflects that. So uh, we're just keeping it real over here. It's a great place to store all of my equipment so it's out of the place if any company comes over. Um, just know that if I ever need to find something, it takes me a while to do some digging. Now my archives and just my general storage in here. I bought this shelf off of my friend Bryce who I used to share a space with as we were moving out of our office. He was selling a lot of the stuff that was in there because he just simply didn't need it. And I bought a couple of these shelves off of him and it's great just to be a good utility shelf. It's not anything that looks fantastic, although it doesn't really bother me. It's just great storage. So it holds a lot of boxes for, you know, different camera gear and stuff like that. But I've also got like all of my friend of mine, like my private collection of the books themselves that I'm keeping for just my own archive. I've got those in there. All of my film, uh, film and Polaroids and everything, all of that stuff is all labeled and organized there, um, which I'll have a video coming on that very soon, so keep an eye out for that. And any camera equipment, Pelican cases, uh, skate magazines, it's just sort of a catch-all for just any odds and ends. Again, just storage. We don't need to talk about it any more than that. It's just storage. Now I have a lot of thoughts on just working from home and having a home office like this, especially coming from, you know, commuting to an office downtown for a couple of years. And I think for any fathers or just any other parents who might be self-employed or maybe you have an office at home, 
Um, I have, you know, a lot of thoughts in that regard, and I would love to share those because I think it would be helpful. Uh, so if you want to see something like that, let me know in the comments down below. If you want the short and sweet of that, just know uh, I'm absolutely loving it because um, while I'm able to provide for myself and my family, uh, so much that my wife was able to leave her nursing career to just stay at home with the kids. We have another baby boy coming in May. Yeah, to be able to do all of that, um, to be able to, to focus on work that, that matters to me, to, to make videos that matter to me, um, all of that while you know providing for my family and being able to do it from home, uh, it truly just feels too good to be true. I'm very, very grateful for that. And we don't know how long we're gonna be in this house as well because you know we do know that a move is coming sooner rather than later and it'll still be local. We'll still be here in Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, but we do know that a move is coming, and this is the house I grew up in, so there's that, but then it's also the house that, you know, we've raised these kids in, and we've been through a lot in, in this house. Um, so we don't know when the move is happening, but we do know a move is coming, so um, I guess just for the time being, we are going to enjoy this house uh, as much as we can uh, while we can. I hope you guys enjoy seeing this space here on the channel for a while one last time. Hey, I love you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you for just being so dang nice to me over the last uh, month or so since my mom passed. It has been a really hard time for a lot of us, but you guys have been um, just amazing, so kind, and I just want you to know I really am very, very grateful. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys next time. Of course, big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, for helping some random guy like me pay his bills, and for giving us the best all-in-one place to build a website. With all the different templates and tools to use, it's never been easier to build a great looking website. And not only that, everything you need is built right into Squarespace's service. Whether you want to show off your portfolio, or send out an email newsletter, or even run your own online store, Everything you need is right there built into Squarespace's service, and if you ever need help with anything, they have 24-7 award-winning customer service. If you want to try Squarespace out for yourself, you can do so entirely free at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to get signed up, go to squarespace.com slash mattday. That'll save you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.